Have you ever been cruising along in your car? It's a nice, it's a beautiful day, and you think everything is fine until you go to slow down and you get this. That, my friends, is a brake vibration, and in this particular car, it is horrendous. Normally, that's going to be caused by warped brake rotors, and that's exactly what's the issue with this Mitsubishi Evo. So today, we're going to get this car in the shop, do a full brake job on it to get that condition fixed completely, and I'm going to show you how. All right, guys, so as you noticed on our test drive, this vehicle has a severe brake vibration. And we got the wheel and tire off on the front, and we can easily see why. Now, if you look at this brake rotor, it has severe discoloration all over the rotor, which is an indication of this rotor actually being warped. So what we're going to do is we have a new set of pads and rotors over on the bench. We're going to disassemble the entire thing, replace the rotors and the pads on the front end of the car, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Start by removing the wheel and tire assembly. Before unbolting the caliper, unbolt the brake line bracket from the strut so you have enough slack to move the caliper. Using a hammer and punch, remove the pins from the caliper and remove the old pads. Next, unbolt the caliper from the steering knuckle, and on Evo 10s, you will need to remove the lower strut bolt to access the top caliper bolt. Next, you need to remove the rotor, which will take some persuasion. Thread a lug nut onto a stud and ensure the rotor doesn't fly off and strike it with a hammer until it frees from the hub. Using a caliper press, press the caliper pistons back into their bores until they bottom out. Alright guys, as you can see we have the old rotors and pads all out of the passenger side of this Evo here and we're going to start installing all the new stuff. Now if you noticed, I have this rotor on backwards but I have it there for a good reason. Now whether you buy your parts at a local auto parts store or of course from CarID.com, every single rotor will have a protective coating on it to prevent rust while it's sitting on the shelf. Now what I like to do is put it on backwards first, go ahead and give the back side of the rotor a good spray of brake clean, clean off that protective coating and then I'll flip it around, install it the right way, clean the opposite side, and start putting it back together. Install your new rotor and thoroughly clean the surfaces with brake clean. Position the brake caliper back onto the rotor and hand thread the bolts to hold it in place. With the caliper in place, install your new brake pads by sliding them through the top of the caliper, and once in place, reinstall the brake pad spring and pins. Firmly tighten the caliper to the knuckle and bolt down all the brake line brackets that you removed previously, as well as the lower strut bolt. Alright guys, so the entire front end of this Evo is all done, new pads and rotors on driver and passenger side. We're going to move to the back now and do the exact same thing, and before you know it, we're going to be back on the street. First unbolt the brake hose bracket from the back of the knuckle to allow enough slack to move the caliper. Remove the brake pad pins from the caliper and unbolt the caliper from the knuckle. Remove the brake rotor by striking the backside with a hammer. With the rotor removed, now is a great opportunity to clean your parking brake shoes and adjust them if necessary. Thoroughly clean the new rotor and install it onto the hub and compress the caliper pistons back into the board. With the caliper hand tightened to the knuckle, install your new pads, spring, and pins. Firmly secure the brake caliper to the knuckle and reinstall the brake hose bracket. Alright everybody, that's it. We got new pads and rows installed on the front and the rear of this Mitsubishi Evo. We're going to get the wheels and tires all on, get this thing back in the street, make sure that brake pulsation is completely gone, and then this thing's ready to hit the track. All right, guys, we got the Evo back on the road after doing our full four-wheel brake job, and now for the ultimate test. Look at that. Beautiful, silky, smooth braking. That's what I call fixed. Now, the one thing I want to point out, a brake job, guys, pads, rotors, this is easy stuff that any of you can do in your own garage with basic hand tools, a jack, and a set of jack stands. So get out there, start working on your car, and start having fun.